Um, okay. So tell us what happened with Bryce. So Bryce and I are uh, no longer together. Who? Can I have a minute? Okay. Okay, I'm gonna go try to do this again. <clears throat> so Bryce and I are no longer living together. Um, we have separated. Us living together, it felt more like roommates than we were actually in a relationship. And I could not live like that because I'm not a person who wants to be in a relationship where there doesn't feel like there's any love or any just, I don't know, spark, because I grew up with parents who, you know, have continued to keep it going for 20-something years, and I want that. But I can't do it with somebody who is just okay with being in a fine relationship, being in a mediocre relationship, and I can't be in a mediocre and fine relationship because that's not who I am. How do you feel? I mean, I'm... <laughs> a lot of emotions, but I'm just mostly... mostly angry, because things just change, and he is genuinely a good guy. But when the relationship... when I tried telling him when the relationship starts to mentally affect somebody, when they don't feel like they're loved and they've tried to do everything to, you know, keep the relationship going and to keep, you know, the spark alive. And then now they're exhausted from it and then they just get pretty much depressed. I can't live like that. So I decided to separate from him. <laughs> 